Hey, I'm Matt with 731 Woodworks. Today we're gonna to build a farmhouse dining bench to match the dining table we built a couple of weeks ago. Check it out. So this is gonna be built out of four by fours. I'm gonna show you how I build mine. You can take it and uh, maybe build some for yourself. You can alter the plans how you need them. This is to fit the five foot uh, farmhouse table we built in the last video. There'll be a link in the cards above to the farmhouse table if you're interested in that. Hey, if you're new here, I'd appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. It will notify you every time I upload new content. Let's get started. Build this farmhouse bench. Here's a quick look of the drawing of the, the bench. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is cut out the 31 inch stretchers. I'm gonna need four of those for two benches. Then I cut the risers out. Move that uh, saw to 22 and a half inches and start cutting out my cross members. You're gonna need eight of these for two benches. So now we're gonna assemble the bench. If you watch my uh, table build, you know how I'm gonna do this. We're just, we're gonna mimic the way we did that. So we got a top and a bottom. So if this is the bottom, this is the top where your seat will be. The other, the two bys will be on top of this. Uh, all I did was mark center, if you can see that. I marked the center and then I marked out an inch and three quarters on each side of center because these are three and a half. Inch three quarter plus inch three quarter is three and a half. So I marked basically the outside edge of this four by four. And what I'm gonna do is stack them on top of each other like that. And then I'm gonna drill pilot holes, three of them, pilot holes, and put four inch screws down through there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. What I'll do is I'll lay it down, clamp it all together, and then put my holes in there after everything's nice and square. I uh, sand uh, all my little pieces to get all those rough edges off uh, when they're joining together and then I start assembling. I like this drill three pilot holes and then put the four inch screws in all the way through. Here's a close up look. Just wood glue, the, put a little clamp on there to hold it everything flush and then the three pilot holes and three four inch screws to hold everything together right here I got my countersink bit stuck it took me forever to get that thing out of there To attach these stretchers, these 31 inch stretchers to the uprights or to the legs actually, I'm using this Craig R3 pocket hole. And what I've done is I'm gonna drill one hole up high and two on the bottom. So I got two on the bottom and one on the side. And then when I attach that, I'll plug that, but that'll be on the back side also of your bench. Uh, so two, one. If you wanna put more, you can. I've never put more than three and it's held just fine. So once we attach it, I'll show you a little more detail on what I'm talking about. Putting everything together with those pocket holes we just drilled. I'm using a five foot clamp. That's just a Harbor Freight clamp, two of them. Hold everything nice and snug. And then I'm gonna put the two pocket holes underneath the bottom side and then the one uh, screw on the back, what would be the back side of the bench. Flip it upside down and I'll do the same thing again. All right, we got our stretchers installed just with the pocket holes. Three on each one, two on the bottom, one on the side. As you can see, I've already plugged those holes. Those are just Craig plugs. You just put a little glue on them, stick them in there, nothing to them. So now we're gonna put our feet on. If you're building a bench like this, if you put uh, little blocks on each corner, it, it gives it a little more, it, it looks better to me. So it gives it a little something extra. And especially if you're going to paint these and not stain them, it doesn't matter. This is spruce, this is, or this is fir, Douglas fir, this is spruce. So you can see the color difference. If you stain that, it's gonna look different. But if you're just gonna uh, paint everything, that doesn't matter. So what I like to do to put these feet on, is I put glue, obviously. I always use glue when attaching wood to wood. You probably noticed that on this channel. Put a little glue on it. I take these little quick clamps. You get a little light pressure on it, just enough to hold it in place while you screw it down. And what I do is I take a pilot hole or a countersink bit. I make sure this is flush here flush on the sides so that it all looks square and then I'll put two pocket or two countersunk holes on the back and one on the front now if you're doing the front don't get way out here on the edge because it'll crack this so about a quarter of the way in and I actually tilt it with the same angle then I just use 
inch and a quarter screws and drive those in. Now I'm gonna do that on all their other three sides. Just take a quarter inch round over bit and round over the edges of those uh, feet. That way everything is, doesn't split on you later on. It doesn't scratch anybody's floors either. We're cutting these uh, angle braces out. These are just four and a half inches long, 45 degrees on each end. Here I'm just sanding uh, everywhere. I'm fixing to have to paint all this, so I'm just sanding these pieces and then all of my cross pieces. Once I get everything sanded, I uh, start out with uh, two coats of this Sherwin-Williams stain block and primer, and then uh, three coats of Sherwin-Williams Pro Plastic Biscuit White paint, which is what will be the overall color after we're done. And now we're going to put the uh, X braces on the bench. So I've got the corners rounded over on this uh, brace, and then I've got them painted so that once they're joined, I don't have to worry about trying to get paint inside there. So how I do this, you can do it however you want, but this is how I do it. I use some wood glue to get that brace. It's not really even a brace, it's for looks. It's not really gonna do anything, not really. And uh, once I get it squared up, flushed up on each side, or all four sides, make sure it's all flush, it looks good. You're, uh, if you look in there, make sure there's no gaps. Now I just take brad nails. Basically, the brad nails are just gonna hold it until the glue dries. Then I'm gonna do the rest of the other seven. Attaching these, uh, what I ought to call the braces, those four and a half inch pieces. Just using wood glue and uh, just brad nails. Get everything brad nailed up. One final sand, sand everything down to 120 grit before I take it over to the paint station. Set these up on a couple saw horses, flip them upside down. I start, I paint the bottom first, same thing. I'm gonna do two coats of that primer and three coats of that biscuit white. Starting on the uh, bench tops, I just run a test piece through there. And now I'm gonna pl uh, plane my uh, two boards per bench, so four total. If you don't have a planer, don't worry about that. I've made plenty of benches without them. It's just nice to keep everything level. Then pocket hole screws, and we'll put five pocket hole screws per bench. Just use a clamp, clamp everything nice and tight, and then that Craig face clamp to uh, get everything lined up. Just screw it all together. Just wood glue and screws hold that together. Before I start sanding, I use my uh, 3 8 inch round over bit and round over the edges of the top and the bottom of that bench. Hit that slow mo, I just like the way that looked. So I threw that in there. Then we sand these down to 120 grit again, same as the uh, frame. Then I use this Minwax pre-stain conditioner on this pine. This stuff is awesome. There'll be a link in the description of these products that I use. Check that out. Let that dry for about 30 or 45 minutes before I put my stain on. For the stain, we went with the Minwax Dark Walnut. 
I always stain the bottom first, see the pocket holes getting stained, and then I'll flip it over and stain the top. That's actually the tabletop. The two bench tops are next. Once the stain is dry, I let it dry for about 24 hours. I come back with this uh, General Finishes Armor Seal. This is some excellent uh, clear coat. It's a polyurethane and oil blend. I just take a pair of old blue jeans that I've cut up for rags and I just wipe it on. Three coats of that. Wipe the first coat on, sand it with the high grit sandpaper like a 600 or a 1000 grit sandpaper real lightly. And then wipe the dust off and then put another coat on. It usually takes about two, three hours per coat to dry. Three coats and you're done. It, it looks beautiful. To put my tabletop on, I flip my bench upside down with my tabletop laying on my workbench. Say so I put a towel down to protect it, and then I put those uh, Zeke Rockler tabletop clips is what I use to attach it. And then some felt pads on the bottom to help protect everything. If you didn't get to see the uh, how I put the Z clips on or those tabletop clips on, check out that table build. I use the same style for that. If you haven't watched the farmhouse table build that matches this bench we just built, you can check that out here. You can also check out some other videos here. You'll check the description below. You'll see useful links down there to a lot of the supplies and tools that I'm using. Hey, I appreciate it if you share this on your social media, whether it be Facebook, Pinterest, or uh, Instagram, any of those things, I'd appreciate that. Virtual fist bump, if you do that for me, it helps me out a lot.